Welcome back to Britain Farms Homestead. Today we are about to make a worm farm because we want some worm castings. And I will randomly put facts through this video about worm castings so you'll know if you want some or not. We're gonna do this fairly cheap. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways how to make this. If one way does not suit you, you can do the other way. A couple of them are cheaper than the other ways, you know, cheaper than other. And some of them take a little more maintenance than the others. But uh, hang out, we'll go over how to make a worm farm. So our first option for the worm farm is three of these bins, and they're the heavier, dutier ones from Lowe's. Um, they were $15 each and you need one lid, but they come with lids, so you could use the lid for something else. And you need one of these apparatuses here to drain the juices out the bottom of it. But this is the most expensive option and this is about $50 to make this right here. And that's without the worms. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is put holes in the bottom of this. We got our holes in this one. We have to do another one just like this. So now we're putting drilling holes around the top of both top two tubs to let air flow. So we used a one inch uh, paddle. I think it's a wooden bit paddle is what it's called. This is the piece that went on the inside and we just put it outside the hole. And then this is gonna screw on this where we can drain out the juices and you can dilute that and fertilize your plants with that also. So now we're fixing to drill holes in the lid for more ventilation. So we now have our spout installed and you do have to put caulking around it um, to so it doesn't leak. So we've got that here drying. We have these two tubs. We have holes in the sides. We have holes in the bottom. And they're placed inside one another. And then we have holes in the lid. This one goes on the bottom to catch all the liquid. And you need a way to drain it. That's what that spout's for. And you can make worm soup to feed your plants with that. You start your worms in the top with compost. They do what they do here. And then you trade it out with this middle one. You'll take this one and put it here, put more compost in the top one. All the worms will come through the holes, come to the top, eat the compost. And in the middle you have worm castings, have compost on the top. And in the bottom you have worm juice. So we are preparing the top tote we are shredding up cardboard taking the tape off don't put the tape in there but shredding up cardboard to go in here with some food scraps from the kitchen and then we'll add the worms that i dug up from the compost so we're dampening the cardboard this is like the nesting for the worms and their new little hotel now we're putting some kitchen scraps i believe this is celery Looks like we have some assorted lettuces. <laughs> so the worms do need a little grit sand in here. 
because that's what we have. Okay, so here's the worms that I dug out of the compost, and we're gonna put these little bad boys in there. Okay, we're done with the first way to make a worm farm, and I'll show you what the finished project looked like. So it's just the three tubs with the spout. Worms are in the top. There's nothing in the middle as of right now. There's nothing on the bottom. So the worms are gonna compost everything on the top. Once they get done with that, we'll take this top tub, switch it out with this middle tub, put the middle tub on top. We'll put kitchen scraps in there. They'll come up through the holes in the bottom and come to the top one, and in the middle one, you will only have worm castings, and in the bottom, you will only have worm juice that you can put on your plants. This is the second part of the second option of making a worm farm. Uh, this is 10 foot long, and we're gonna make three different worm farms out of this, but these are gonna go directly into your garden next to your plants. And they're a little bit lower maintenance than the farm over here that's gonna be inside, because um, they're contained, and the worms in these will be able to come in and out of the worm farm. We've cut that 10 foot piece of this pipe um, in about three and a half foot each. Now we're gonna take this one inch paddle bit and we're gonna put holes up about a foot all the way around on every one of them. something to go over the top of this so we've come up with we bought this end at that fits on this from Lowe's and then we just took some pantyhose and we cut them we're gonna put those over the top like that and that way you're still able to run water down in it um, you will have to take that off when you start to put your kitchen scraps in there but you put that on there and then this end you just pop that on there that's going to hold the pantyhose in place and then you bury it in the ground. Um, all of this setup was about $20. So it is, um, for three of them, it was $20. And that one over there was like $50. So if you're looking for a cheap way to get a worm farm and these actually go out in your garden so the worms will be going in and out and it's less maintenance than looking to see if you have enough water in there if it's moist enough for your worms these go outside so they can run off to wherever water's at if that's what they need so we've put this in the ground and we've dug a hole deep enough that it will cover all the way up to the last hole then we're going to backfill with dirt and then we're gonna put our kitchen scraps in the top. 